Kelly, panic. Yeah, that first goal, a minute 17 into the, the game, kind of sucked the wind right out of us. And then uh, we just couldn't get back on track. They got a good team. Uh, I thought the third period we came out and we battled, and we really played pretty good hockey. And uh, I said, if I told them in there, I said, uh, if you can leave tonight and give me 110% this third period, I'll be happy. And, uh, you know, we've had a pretty good year, 27-3-1. We've got seven kids that never played varsity hockey before. And Kelly and all the seniors and all the D1 players, they really played their hearts out tonight. So I'm really proud of them. Right, you know, <clears throat> and I knew if we could get one goal, I told the kids that if we, if we could get one goal and maybe down by one goal and then, you know, because it happened to, I think Blake played them before and came back on them. So we were just trying to chip away, chip away on that lead and then make them think that, oh boy, here it goes again. And that's what we were hoping for. And I thought when we came out in that third period, we scored 18 seconds into the third period, I said, we got them on the heels now. I mean, we, we had them on the ropes. I thought if we could get one more, and we had another chance on that power play, Caitlin Riley just missed. And we had about, I just looked at the film on the game, and we had about five really good scoring chances. So it could have been, it could have been tied up, and maybe they would have been thinking, boy, here we go again. It happened to us before, and that's kind of what we were talking about. Kelly, was there a belief that you could indeed make a run at this club? Yeah, I mean, um... That was kind of our thing. Locker room was just there's nothing to lose right now. The only thing we can do is battle and hopefully you know chip away at that lead. And we were really pumped going out there. And then 18 seconds in when we scored after that, we were just really feeling like you know we got this. We're down two goals. We can score two goals. We scored more than two in a period before us. So we can do it. And then uh, I mean I think it was until the, their last goal that that was kind of was just heartbreaking to us. That's kind of when we're like oh shoot, now what? I think any, you know, it's you play three games and it's it's a lot of uh, you kind of you're, you're given 110 percent out there and you're battling every shift and it's just a struggle out there. But I think on the third game that you actually play, you're playing on adrenaline, you know, and you're just you're, it's the last game. We talked about it today. These are a bunch of seniors. This is your last game that you're playing. Give me 110 percent. Bring it every shift out there. And uh, we just got off to, a, I, I thought, a bad start. And uh, it was, you know, once you dig yourself in, this is the first time we've been behind the whole tournament. And we're not used to that. And it, we, we kept battling, but when you dig yourself a hole like that, it's tough to get out, especially in the state tournament. <clears throat> yeah, it was that uh, first penalty, I think, that they got. I went hard into the board of my knee. and. It kind of hurts, but in a game like this, you just got to fight through it. And after, I think, the third period, I didn't really feel it as much as a little sore, but you just got to play through it and forget about it and just put it all out there. Um, I'm glad I could play well, but uh, I would have traded that for a win here today. But, I mean, it's exciting to be able to play and, you know, get one shot at this my senior year. and. Um, I'm glad I made the most of it, but again, I would have traded all of it for a g one year at the end. Yeah, I mean, when she, there's a few that they're point blank. She just got her like pat out there and just stuffed us, but. Obviously, as a team that's so offensive-minded to get shut out like that for 
you know, not, not necessarily shut out, but gets just blocked that many times. It's frustrating, but also they have great defense and they play great team defense. So that's hard. A lot of it is you just got to battle and it's hard to be down three goals and then try to battle back one at a time because they're so, they're so talented defensively and she played a great game. And yeah, so they kind of just did what they had to do to shut us down. Well, I thought when Kippen had that breakaway, you know, and uh, we were trying to stretch, do some stretch passes there and try to get behind their defense. We had a couple good chances. Uh, you know, if she would have scored, that would have been huge. And uh, I thought one time uh, when uh, Caitlin Riley, we did a stretch pass with her and they called it an offside. That was a close play. And uh, usually when she gets a breakaway, she's going to bury it. So there was a, we had a number of opportunities. You know, we could, if, if we would have capitalized on those opportunities, it would have been a different game. But their goalie played good. She came up with some big saves, and, and that's what happens in, in a tight game like that. Probably uh, end of the uh, middle of the second period, we said we gotta we gotta get behind their D and you know try something different and just fly the zone and and do some stretch passes because we were getting desperate. Yeah, these kids are just fabulous. It's been. I've been coaching hockey a long time. This is the funnest team I've ever been around. <clears throat> they worked so hard this year, and uh, we came through a tough section. And they battled, they worked their tails off, and it's been a lot of fun. And watching them grow, is, I've had them for four years now, and I just wish I could have got them to that, uh, winning that state tournament. But, you know, I'm still proud of them. Uh, they did a terrific job. We worked so hard, and they, they, everything I asked, you know, they, they produced. I'm pretty proud of him. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.